ones. They are the ones who left us and went to UDA. Uh-huh. As we have been in Jubilee, and I've not left Jubilee. I'm actually acting Jubilee political party leader. Mm-hmm. I am the whip mm-hmm. at the National Assembly. So, yeah. so I am still there. They left. I'm still there. Mm-hmm. Uh, others decided to go for Mandamano. Jubilee is a party of peace. You can see our sign is a dove. Yeah. So we don't believe in those things. So when the people detoured, what I can tell them, we are still working. You know, there's a story that is told about Jesus. Okay. At one point, um, uh, Jesus uh, was walking uh, at a desert with someone. Mm-hmm. And so at some point, there were the, th- those four footprints. Mm-hmm. And then at one point, there were two. And so this guy turned and said, Jesus, why have you left me? And Jesus said, I'm, I'm not the one. The footprints you are seeing are still mine. Me, I'm still there. You are the one who detoured. Mm-hmm. So what I can tell the people who left Jubilee, you guys detoured. Jubilee is still there. We still believe in the party. Mm-hmm. Uh, we were told many things that it is dead, it was buried. But we are still kicking. That's why you can hear there's a lot of interest in Jubilee party. Mm-hmm. And we are the ones who have kept the fire burning. Okay. Because I believe we had a very good party. I believe my party did very a good progress and project in this country. And so I would be sad to see people trying to demolish the expressway mm. that was built by mm. Jubilee Party. Mm. And um, I would be looking forward to see like projects like the Mau, the Mau Mau Roads, which passes actually through my home, that are going to be done. Mm. I, would, I would be happy to see, I was a former chair of education, that, that universal health coverage becomes a reality because we did a pilot, we also did some amendments, this government has brought other amendments. So for me, I would like to see that come to pass. I would like to see one day that no one, nobody will be tamed in a hospital, whether you've not paid for the fee or somebody dies and the body is, you know, it's the most dehumanizing thing to do, mm. that a body is detained in a hospital because the family cannot raise. One thing is that these people came to look for treatment and then the, one, the, the person passed on. Yeah. So why should you continue holding on that body in, 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 in the morgue mm. instead of allowing the family to grieve, to bury their dead? And then you can negotiate if, in case they have something that they can be able to pay. Those are the things I'm looking forward to. Mm. I'm looking forward for when our public institutions will be so good especially the hospitals, such that we can be able to say all members of parliament will not be going to private hospitals. We should all be told we go to Kenyatta National Hospital, Kenyatta referral. It's fantastic. That hospital looks like, um, you know, I don't even, I will not even compare with any hospital facility in this country. Mm. It is above all the hospitals, yeah. even the private ones. Mm-hmm. And it's a facility that Kenyans have not discovered how it is. We struggled so much to make sure it was, it was op- operationalized. Yeah. When I was the chair, we found it like a white elephant project. Mm-hmm. It was being done by Kenyatta University. We made sure that that hospital was actualized. It is now functional. Mm-hmm. We made sure that we addressed the issue of cancer. By the time I was leaving, we had done a very nice cancer center, PET scan for the first time. Mm-hmm. I think we, it's only Kenya and South Africa, which has a pet scan machine in this, in uh, in the entire Africa. Yeah. So we are trying to reduce the. We were trying to reduce Kenyans going to India for treatment to seek for treatment. Mm-hmm. We also bought the cyber knife. Mm-hmm. So for me, I would look forward to see now Kenyatta. We're trying to start a, a children's hospital, a 300 bed, first public hospital in Africa. Uh-huh. That it can happen. So I have no business to try and sabotage what this government can do mm-hmm. because at the end of the day. Elections were done, finished. One year down the line, we still keep on saying what happened and what didn't happen. Mm. It is looking forward to work for the people. God gave me an opportunity as a nominated member yeah. to serve at the National Assembly. Mm. I have a lot of experience that I can be able to share with my colleagues who are younger who have come into parliament. Mm. And I believe this country, this country is heading in the, in the right direction. Mm. We may have challenges which is not just in Kenya, but other countries. Okay. And even globally, I travel a lot, mm. and I can tell you things are not easy everywhere. Mm-hmm. But then, would we say that we are in a car, and we, we, we see there's a problem with the car, instead of asking how do we fix it, we just say, ah, because we don't like the driver, let us go and crash. You know, not noticing or not realizing that we are inside this car. If this car crashes, mm-hmm. we all die. And this car is Kenya. Mm-hmm. Kenya needs fixing. We all need to put our heads together and ask ourselves, yeah. how do we fix this country? Instead of blame game, instead of saying to Luambia, instead of saying mm. you know, all these things that people are saying, mm-hmm. and so what do we do? Mm-hmm. Instead of crying, mm-hmm. we need now to all ask for solutions. So,